standing here in front of Foster Hall, one of TCU's 18 on-campus housing options for freshman students. Freshman students come to TCU expecting the typical dorm experience. However, when they arrive on move-in day, they find out that they have not one, but two roommates, ultimately leading to a sticky situation. So on move-in day, I only expected to live with one girl. So when I walked into my dorm room, I was shocked to see three beds. Um, and so as soon as the three of us were in the room, it was chaotic because we were all trying to figure out where to put our stuff and who got what drawers since we only had two closets and two sets of drawers. It was really crazy trying to figure out like who got what space and we didn't know each other so we didn't feel comfortable like claiming space and then one of my roommates is really aggressive and so she was trying to take a closet all to herself and leaving me and my other roommate with just one and so it was really hard for us to compromise and at the same time all of our families were in there and so there's just a lot of people in the room at once and the room is really, really small and so it's hard to get anything organized and after all of our parents left, I still felt very overwhelmed because I didn't know where any of my stuff was. I kept opening drawers and it like wasn't my clothes or my belongings and so it was a big adjustment like figuring out where all of our stuff goes and trying to make like a common living space where we all had like spaces for all of our clothes and because some roommates brought more stuff than others and so it was just hard to like find that balance. So me and my best friend from high school, we knew that we wanted to be roommates together um, and so we applied to live in Colby together and then um, when we showed up on move-in, there was another girl already in our room and we were so confused and then we found out that we were in a forced triple and our RA came by and told us and we were just blown away. It's not ideal. I don't get along with them great and I'd rather live with someone else. Um, I think we'll try if like we can, but it wouldn't be the end of the world if we couldn't. Behind me are two new freshman dorms that will be completed by August of 2019 so that next year's incoming freshman class will hopefully no longer have to deal with the issues of forced triples.